Recent advances in the next generation sequencing tools has provided the modern scientists and bioinformaticians with effective bioinformatics softwares and tools to profile human adaptive immune receptor repertoires. However, no studies have estimated the proportion of ancestry in the field of adaptive immune receptor repertoire studies. It is known that the ancestry distribution in the genome-wise association studies are disproportionate, which mostly are conducted under the European ancestry. Accordingly, we want to examine the proportion of ancestry in the field of T-cell receptor sequencing studies. Increasing the ancestry diversity and availability in the T-cell receptor sequencing studies could allow scientists and healthcare professionals to understand individuals and populations immunogenomics and phenotypic difference in their T-cell receptor immune responses. In our study, we examine the proportion of ancestry and the ancestry information's availability in the field of T-cell receptor sequencing studies to initially estimate the proportion of ancestry. We examined 114 T-cell receptor sequencing studies on PubMed and the online public repositories, eye receptor and immune access. For the studies without ancestry information, we made email inquiries to the authors to request the ancestry information. We eventually included 42 studies with available ancestry information and analyzed the ancestry information over 3,341 study participants. According to Figure 1, we can note that the proportion of ancestry of the study participants in the T-cell receptor sequencing studies are mainly Europeans. If we look at the proportion of ancestry in the reported studies, we can note that more than half of the studies are conducted under the European ancestry. Accordingly, we can note that the proportion of ancestry in the T-cell receptor sequencing studies are highly disproportionate. Looking into the Figure 2, we examine the changes in the proportion of ancestry among the studies over years. We can note that although the proportion of the non-European ancestry is increasing in recent years, the proportion of ancestry is still highly disproportionate. Additionally, according to Figure 3, we can note that a majority of the T-cell receptor sequencing studies have an available ancestry information. Only 19.1% of the T-cell receptor sequencing studies have included ancestry information in the original study design. After the email inquiries for requesting the ancestry information to the authors, only 38.2% of the T-cell receptor sequencing studies have available ancestry information. Additionally, based on the figure 4 result, the ancestry information we acquired are either self-reported or investigator-reported ancestry information or race ethnicity data. Accordingly, the genetic ancestry results were unavailable to acquire in the T-cell receptor sequencing studies. The genetic ancestry depicts the single nucleotide variants across a certain geographic origin groups and depicts the extent of different single nucleotide variants among individuals which could help define the differences among ancestry. The race, ethnicity, and self-reported ancestry are known to be different from genetic ancestry, which might potentially decrease the statistical power to identify genetic risk factors in the genetic studies. Hence, there might be confounders for any researchers that conducted the secondary analysis based on the self-reported ancestry and race, ethnicity data. To mitigate the disproportionate and unavailable ancestry distribution, the scientific community should establish a standardized protocol in reporting the study participants' genetic ancestry background in the immunogenomic studies and account for the importance of ancestry in the field of immunogenomics and ev eventually could promote health equity in the field of immunogenomics across all the populations.